You're listening to the audiobook of Robots Will Steal Your Job, But That's Okay, written by Federico Pistono, read by Ian R. Buck. Before we get started with the book itself, there are a few housekeeping things to go over. This audiobook is a production of the Nexus TV, a technology-focused podcast network. We are releasing one chapter a week in a podcast feed and on our YouTube channel. When that is complete, the collected version will be released on conventional audiobook platforms. Note that the podcast version will include a brief intro and outro for each chapter, in case listeners stumble across individual episodes. The intro and outro will always be the exact same length, making it very easy to set your podcast player to automatically skip those sections if you want. The theme music you're hearing right now and will be hearing during the intros and outros of each chapter is Robo Hobo by the Free Harmonic Orchestra, used under its Creative Commons Attribution License. Each chapter will include show notes at thenexus.tv slash rsj and then the chapter number. So for example, the intro here has show notes at thenexus.tv slash rsj0. Chapter one will be thenexus.tv slash rsj1, etc. Look in those show notes to find the following. Charts, graphs, and figures in the book. Footnotes and references. Timestamps to different sections within a chapter to help you navigate around and a link to the chapter on the book's official website, which will include the full text of the chapter, as well as a comment section to discuss the book with other readers. This audiobook is released under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike 3.0 Unported License, meaning that you can use any part of this audiobook for any reason, as long as you link back to the original page, you don't make money from your use of the material, and you release your work under that same license. This audiobook project was enabled by the fact that Federico released the original book under that license. Neither of us had to seek each other out to get this project going. And with that, let's get on with the book. Introduction. You are about to become obsolete. You think you are special, unique, and that whatever it is that you are doing is impossible to replace. You are wrong. As we speak, millions of algorithms created by computer scientists are frantically running on servers all over the world with one sole purpose. Do whatever humans can do, but better. These algorithms are intelligent computer programs, permeating the substrate of our society. They make financial decisions, they predict the weather, they predict which countries will wage war next. Soon, there will be little left for us to do. Machines will take over. Does that sound like some futuristic fantasy? Perhaps. This argument is proposed by a growing, yet still fringe community of thinkers, scientists, and academics, who see the advancement of technology as a disruptive force, which will soon transform our entire socioeconomic system forever. According to them, the displacement of labor by machines and computer intelligence will increase dramatically over the next few decades. Such changes will be so drastic and quick that the market will not be able to abide in creating new opportunities for workers who have lost their jobs, making unemployment not just part of a cycle, but structural in nature, and chronically irreversible. It will be the end of work as we know it. Most economists disregard such arguments. Many of them don't even address the issue in the first place, and those who do address this issue claim that the market always finds a way. As machines replace old jobs, new jobs are created. Thanks to the ingenuity of the human mind and the need for growth, markets always find a way, especially in the ever-connected and globalized market we live in today. In this book, I will try to avoid picking either side based on belief, gut feeling, or hunch. Rather, I will attempt to engage in informed logical reasoning based on the evidence we have so far. The book is divided into three parts. First, we will explore the topic of technological unemployment and its impact on work and society. I chose to focus on the U.S. economy, but the same argument applies to most of the industrialized world. In the second part, we will look into the nature of work itself and the relationship between work and happiness. The last part is a bold attempt to provide some practical suggestions on how to deal with the issues presented in the first two parts. 
Doing a thorough examination of each section would require a monumental effort, possibly resulting in thousands of pages, far exceeding the purpose of this book. My intention is not to write a complete academic report, but rather to initiate a discussion about what I think will soon be one of the biggest challenges that we have to face as a society and as individuals. Too often we treat various issues as separate subjects, not realizing the interconnected nature of our reality. This mistake has made us weak and vulnerable. Over the last 70 years, we have set the stage for our own demise. We have become increasingly discontent, the quality of our relationships have diminished, and we have lost track of what really matters. Today, as the comedian Louis C.K. has noted, everything is amazing and nobody is happy. It is time to take a step back and think about where we are going. Let us begin the journey.